Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Thank you to everyone that subscribed recently and welcome back to episode 9. In this video we're going to be splitting it into two parts. First part being the removal of the van front end and the and the second part will be fitting the new front end. So thanks very much for watching. Let's get cracking. Part one, let's take the front off. Right, first thing I'm gonna do is remove the bonnet. Now, there is uh, one, two, three, four fixing points for the bonnet. So we're gonna remove that and put it to one side. Uh, so the first step we're gonna do is to remove uh, the battery cover, this little light cover, and all of these little pieces out of the grill and put them somewhere safe, because we're gonna need them when we come to refit it all back on. Is that for me, miss? Boom! <laughs> Just waiting for a, uh, another delivery from Fantastic. Uh, if you haven't actually checked out the channel, check out this jumper. Sick. If you haven't checked them out, go and check them out. They're based down in uh, Newquay. They've got a shop down there, but they've also got an online shop. Um, so www.fantasticclothing. Uh, uh, so go and check them out, they've got some really, really nice stuff on there. But anyway, back to this part. Before we, before we take the bonnet off, we're just going to remove um, the sound deadening, the heat guard, the whatever you want to call it, uh, from the underside of the bonnet because I'm going to clean it. Oh man, these are fiddly. Uh, trying to break them. Now obviously, if you do break them, then you're going to have to replace them. But they are removable. I've just worked out how to do it really easily. So, um, when you come to do it, I'll bring one over to you. They look a little bit like this. If you pinch the um, bigger part up, it just pops out. If you try and do the little one, doesn't pop out for some reason. I don't know. So look, big one, little one. So big one, big one, big one, big one. Right, that's done. That is. Now I've seen some of these before. Bizarrely, very clean. So that's on my side. Right, next step, now that we've got access to all of this, and it's up and it's, it's sturdy and it's not going anywhere, I'm just gonna take these little rubber grommets out. Um, Cause I might need them, but when I come to sort this bonnet out, I don't want to have to faff around with it too much while it's um, while it's on the floor in case I scratch it all up. Right, so these are a 10 mil. I'm just going to pop this off. Next step is to release the washer jets. So let's try not to break these. That's handy. So that's that. The washer jet. Close the pump. Pump? This isn't a pump. Right, so that is everything detached from the bonnet. Take it off the bonnet holder, as it were, the stay, bonnet stay, and because they're finger tight, make sure you're holding it with one hand. bolt somewhere safe move over to oh actually you can just rest it on this plastic scuttle scuttle panel crikey 
that does take a bit of the awkwardness out of it. And that is the bonnet off. Put it somewhere safe. So at this point, before I go any further, uh, I'm going to need to be able to access underneath um, the wheel arches. Obviously, I've lowered my van. Uh, some of you may have lowered yours too. So an easy way to get around that, obviously, is to raise the van. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a, a jack on either side and get this van up in the air. And I'll show you the torque screws you've got to take out and then the two 10 mil bolts that hold the top of the bumper uh, around here to the frame of the, well, to the wing of the van. There's three Torx 25s this side. One, two, three, and there's three on the other side. You need to remove all six. Now I've just sort of brought you out rather than in because um, it's a bit dark under there, although it's kind of light outside, it's a bit strange. <laughs> uh, but there is actually another Torx bit here. Um, let me just, you'll, you'll, fit, you'll be able to feel it with your finger if you run it. It's probably directly in the center of the arch. If you release that one, uh, when you come to get up to the two bolts that are here, um, you'll be able to get your arm up and round. Three more Torx 25s. One, two, three. Six in total. Three on this side, three on the other. Okay, I jumped ahead of myself slightly, <laughs> um, but we need to release um, one Torx 30, another Torx 30, and another Torx 30 just here. Um, I've already removed my um, engine guard, I suppose, uh, and she looks quite clean and tidy under there, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. Okay, um, once you've removed the top panel, not the bottom one, the top one, there is two um, T30s screws one either side so there's one in there and there is get some light on it one just in here you want to remove both of those let me just do torch and phone uh, just in here there's a torx piece you want to take out i believe that's a torx 30 and again there's one on this side too, just in there. To get to those, you're gonna to need to pull off this panel that's in the front. And I literally just put my fingers into there and pulled it out. It's only clipped in by little plastic clips and they don't break, so don't panic. Okay, once you've done that, we'll look at getting underneath the arch to release the two 10 mil bolts on either side. And then there is one, two, three, four Torx bits remaining. Those are the two 10 mil bolts that you will find up and under the wheel arch. Okay, once you've done the um, bolts underneath the wheel arch, what you're looking for now, um, if I sort of point through here, um, just where my finger is now, and then I'll take it out, Hang on, let me get a better image for you. There's a screw. Now it's a Torx uh, 20, hang on, let's check. Torx 25, my apologies. And there's four of them. Um, now, if I show you where they are, so I'm kind of working outside at the moment, it's a bit horrible right okay so there's one under here which is going to be a little bit of a pain to get to because i'm going to have to move the uh steering wheel fluid the steering wheel pump fluid or whatever it is um there's one up here you can see the back end of it and again just there and then where i was just in the corner there so i'm going to get those out so now what we're able to do, once we've undone those four screws along there and everything on either side, is remove the bumper. Now there is 
a cable attached to the back of the end of the bumper. So what we don't want to do is rip it completely off. So what happens when you have kids? Um, <laughs> occasionally you end up working in the dark. Now it's pitch black outside, but I've got a an outdoor light going on the go, uh, and I'm in a little shelter, so even if it rains, I'm all right. But it makes uh, creating a video a little bit difficult. So we've got, let me just move you over. We've got this cable here, which is running all the way around. Now I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, so we're just gonna release it out of its little poppers. And we're also gonna take out this sensor here. Uh, we're gonna have to plug that back in with a new bumper. So that's off. And over this side as well, a little clip and another little clip here. And that is the bumper. Happy days. All right, let's pop this to one side and then we can get cracking. So last thing to do on the front end is to remove the lights. Now, at this point in the video, you probably would have guessed that I'm not, or I'm doing something different to my front end. So I'd just like to put it out there. If anyone's interested in perhaps the lights or the bumper or the grill or the battery cover or the other color for the other side, just, just get in touch, drop a comment below or um, have a look on my Instagram feed or anything like that and um, drop me a message and you're more than welcome to A, offer me some money for some of the little bits that might be worth some money or B, as the bumper for instance, just come and take it away. Oh, and the bonnet's in pretty good nick too. So these lights, four screws, or four Torx bits again. One, two, three, four. Nice and easy, again, it's a T25. But they do like to make things a little bit easier on some of the Volkswagen things, don't they? Which is quite nice. So, I will be putting these lights into a box and they need to go to a new home. Um, the mileage on the van's only like 46,000 I think or something like that now so they haven't really done much um, got decent bulbs in there bowl accounts uh, they're quite nice and bright at night so make me an offer come and get them <laughs> it's got a clip on it happy days oh, I wish to do with my lights that is weird. Look at that. Normally that goes up and under there sometimes. But anyway, so patch one off. I'm going to get the other one off. Well, that's it for part one, guys. It's late. I've got the front end off. It didn't take me that long, I have to admit. Um, it takes longer um, having to film. Now, I get that's the whole idea of a YouTube channel. Uh, and it's kind of like the whole idea of mine film what I'm doing um, It does take a lot longer having to film it um, So part one is done um, If you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon as well get notifications of when the next video is up See you in episode 10 See you in episode 10